Okay guys, I'm back. I am up late and you guys know I've already done a video and I was getting ready to turn down but you guys are actually blowing up my inbox and blowing it, blowing it, blowing it, blowing it, blowing it and I actually don't have my blockers on here but I'm going to go ahead on and make this video because I'm kind of up and I really need to turn down but you guys are in my inbox and one of the ladies said that um she hated that she couldn't get in on the questions. There were no questions. There were actually people asking me about doing videos and they sent in stuff for the D and D vlogs and stuff like that. And you guys uh, had said before, uh, thanks for bringing the D and D vlogs back. The D and D vlogs never did go anywhere. I just needed to get myself together and take some time for myself um, before I started doing these D and D vlogs and answering all y'all questions. And I have tons of emails when i sit here and tell y'all i got thousands of emails i have thousands of emails and i just need to go through that type of stuff and so but some of this stuff that's coming up like early on now um i'm actually going to be um answering some of those like really really quick thank you so um one of the ladies uh asked about uh when uh is it time or when do you know when to be intimate when to be intimate um, so that was one of the questions that came in and then I have forgot you guys had actually put in my inbox. Hey, wait about what about the book? What about the book? Yes, I forgot to talk about this book. This is a book that's by David and it's called what I love about Diana and it's actually by David and so I'm going to read a little bit out of this book. And then, you know, I'm going to actually talk just a little bit about it. But anyway, to answer her question, hello, but to answer her question about when to actually be intimate when you're actually in a relationship, but she has actually been in a relationship, but saying that the intimacy is actually there when you let your guard down, but it really is not. It really is not. Okay. How you explain that? I took right to that. I took right to that. I understand exactly what you were saying when you said you guys have been together for years. You are being intimate. You don't want to let your guard down, but whatever. So if it's a new relationship, let me go off of this right here. If it's a new relationship, um, it just depends on you and the other person and the vibe. Some people, they just want to get together. Boom, 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 boom. I'm done. I'm done with you. That's how it is. Now, women can do that too. Women and men can do the same thing. But I can't tell you in a relationship uh, when's the best time for you to give it up. Now, do I believe in sex before marriage? Um, of course I do. You know what I'm saying? Of course I do. Now, whether it's right or wrong, you know, you're going to have these holier than thou people that's on here. That's going to be saying, Diana, come on. Now you're a YouTuber and you leading these people down the wrong road or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't my damn sheep. Y'all asking me a question and this is just what I'm answering. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't none of my sheep. So, um, the Bible says that you're actually supposed to wait until you are married and then you give yourself to your husband. And, um, your husband, your wife, whatsoever. Now, who waiting on that these days and whatever and then just trying to pray about it afterwards? There's a lot of people just doing it that way. But if two people are feeling the same way about each other and um, you guys have been going out for some time, uh, some people go and, you know, they get checked out whatsoever, use protection to protect yourself. But if two people are vibing, um, something gonna happen. You'll know if the chemistry is there, you know what I'm saying? And you'll know well what it's worth. Whether y'all just gonna knock this out or if it's gonna go somewhere, you, you got a little bit, you got a feeling, you know what I'm saying? You got a feeling. But if you are ready and that person is ready, hey, that's all up on you. Now, whether it's good or not, you know what I'm saying? That's on you. You went in there for it, you know what I'm saying? But if you know you and you know how to get down, you know how to get down, you can make it good for yourself. Now, when you sitting here saying that you've been with this person for this amount of years and you're doing it, but you're not, baby, you don't checked out. You don't left that relationship mentally. You're gone. You know what I'm saying? You are gone. You have checked out. You have checked out. You know what I'm saying? And, um, it don't matter whether you land there or not. You're not in it anymore. You know what I'm saying? Your heart is not in it. And when your heart is not in it, I'm, why are you even there? You know what I'm saying? I'm not telling you to leave or whatever, but you're saying that, you know, he ain't put no ring on it or whatever. After five years, you know, and somebody ain't put a ring on your finger, 
so that you are spoken for to speak up for you? You can't speak up for me. I'm here with you. You know what I'm saying? Um, we together, we living together. And I can tell people that I'm with you, but you don't speak for me. No, that ain't working. That, that's not working. I got to go. And I'm going to remove myself from that situation. So, baby, um, if you are seeing somebody or doing something or whatever, be careful. Protect yourself. But if you get into a new relationship, you will know. Um, you'll know. You'll know when it's time. And um, and will a woman make a move? Yes. Sometimes a man make a move, but sometimes you guys know. But respect yourself. I ain't finna do nothing in the back of no car. That ain't happening. I need to be respected. And um, if I'm going to be at a hotel or at your place or my place or whatever, I'm going to be at some place where I'm comfortable. I ain't going to be doing something. So just Tom, Dick, you can get your rocks off. That ain't happening like that. The mood and the setting and everything has to be right. Has to be right. So now you got some of them gawkers out there. Some people that just, um, they praying on you because that's all they want. And then they done. But you got women that's out there though too. And like how you said that you're in that, some of these men don't know. These women can fake it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they can fake it. And it seems like that's where you are in it. But you know what I'm saying? Don't fake it just to be there. You know, don't do that to yourself. You know, you're lying to yourself. Um, and it's not going to get any better unless you really, really want to work on it. The two of you guys actually want to work on it. But if it was me and it is a new relationship and I'm vibing with this person, I've been seeing this person for a while, I'm going to um, give myself to um, the person that I want to give myself to. That means that if I'm giving myself to you, that's because I want you to have me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be out here with this person, this person, this person. I'm giving myself to you because I want to be with you. I want you to have me. That's what you got to go in there saying. This is a part of you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is a part of your love. This is a part of your communication and all this stuff. You know, but um, I can't tell you um, when to do that. You know, spending time and all this stuff. You'll know. You know, good morning. Um. So, yeah, I'm trying to push them out, trying to trying to get them out here, you know, trying to get ready to go to bed. And then I needed to answer this. So um, intimacy is something very, very, very big, it's something very deep. Make sure you want to be with that person. Make sure you um, use protection and uh, don't put yourself out there if you don't want nobody to know about it. Don't sit there and say, hey, I want to be with this person and then, but I don't want nobody to know about it. Okay. After you've been around this person for so long, body language talks. You don't have to open your mouth about anything. The body language talks. And if you have chemistry, all of that stuff is going to be all around, all around your aura. All that's going to be there. You know what I'm saying? You can be quiet. But the bodies is not going to lie. So, therefore, if you're embarrassed about the person who you done been with or whatever, don't put your foot, don't test the waters. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to be embarrassed about it, you know, if you're going to go into it, go into it, do it, and have no regrets. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Just protect yourself. But you give yourself up when you want it. Now, and in me... And I know some people come and say, Danny, you shouldn't tell nobody to do that right there. I do what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? I do what I want to do when I want to do it. If I want to give it up, I'm going to give it up. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to do it in my time. And I'm going to give myself to who I want to give myself to, who I want to share myself with. Hey, if it don't work out, I did it. And I don't regret it because I went in there knowing that this is what I wanted to do at that moment in time. Don't care who know that I was with you. You know what I'm saying? But at the time that I was with you, it's because I wanted to be. Ain't nobody pressure me to do it. So you do it at your own time when you want to do it, honey. If you vibing, some people do it on the first day and some people are married. You know what I'm saying? Um, some people is good too. Some people just doing it just to get their rocks off or whatever. But you should know a person after you're around them a couple of times. Whether it's going, what type of relationship it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? Whether y'all just hooking up, cut buddies, all that stuff right there. But see, I don't do all that. So, anywho. Now, let's get on it. If you want to give it up, baby, give it up. Do you. Enjoy you. You're an adult. Be careful. Now, the other stuff, I don't know about that. Look into that. Five years, no ring on the finger. Something. 
that we working towards. Mm -mm, I can't. So let's talk about this book. I forgot to talk about this book right here. Um, what I love about Diana. I've always found notes and stuff from David. David always gave me notes. He gave me all kind of stuff um, when he was here on this earth physically. And I found a lot of notes and all type of stuff even after he passed. Um, and then I found this right here in my makeup drawer. This right here is What I Love About Diana by David. And so I'm going to read some stuff to y'all. It says, what I love about Diana, my dearest Diana, David never did call me dear. David called me Candy, Black Candy. That's where the name Black Candy comes from, David, okay? Black Candy, melt in your mouth and not in your hand. Black Candy, baby, that's who I am. So, it says, I love your smile. I'm beginning to, I'm beginning to see you more, beginning to see it more and more. Hi, and that's because the reason why he was saying he was beginning to see it more and more is because I used to have a gap right there, had an overbite, and then I had to get my teeth fixed. You know what I'm saying? After losing weight and stuff like that, there's a lot of stuff that I wanted to clean up. And so I began to smile more after I got my teeth fixed. It says, you are my favorite person in the world, as he was mine, as he was mine. You know what I'm saying? Um, David was amazing he was amazing and always doing something to keep my attention to keep my attention and he did he kept my attention at all times whether you know giving me a call sending me a text sending me something funny um we was just in constant communication you know text phone calls all that stuff um i love hearing your stories about your goals ideas and future plans i always have goals i always have an idea and i'm always planning something because um I don't, life don't just stop right here. It don't just stop right here because you got this job, you're making this amount of money. Life don't stop because you driving a Mercedes, overrated, you know what I'm saying? Uh, or you driving a BMW or Range Rover. I want a Range Rover though. I do want one of those. I want a Range Rover. And um, life don't stop there. You know, you got to keep planning. You can't keep wanting to um, be better and better, better and better at something. And, um, so you got to have goals. You got to set goals, not only just for yourself, for your family. What do you want to do for your family next year? What do y'all want to do? You know, make a plan, have a plan. And, um, it says, I love how talented you are about communicating. Okay. See what I mean? See what I mean? See what I mean? Remember I was telling y'all on that video about how we kept the communication line open, 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 baby, open, all the way open, everything everything you want something in your relationship to work open your mouth open your mouth to that person to this other person you know what i'm saying hey baby tomorrow's wednesday um i would like to go out to dinner what's a good time for you i'll take care of the kids i come home early take care of the kids make sure all that stuff is straight you know what i'm saying but right now we need to adult today Today, we need to adult. I need to take care of you and me. Open your mouth to that person. Just because you get married, the dates don't stop. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep doing the same thing to keep the spark up in a relationship, as she should too. It doesn't matter about, you know, you taking out a man or doing this, paying for this, that. You know, a woman can do that though too. I do those things. I do a lot of things. A lot of things. I do a lot of things. But that's me. And not trying to please my man. That's me and who I am. I take care of things. That's what I like doing, you know. But you don't give these guys all of the tricks or these women all of the tricks because you don't got together. You don't did it. Boom, boom, boom. You don't give them all of the tricks. You know what I'm saying? You keep pulling something out every now and again and you let them know, hey, I can do this. Got this. You ain't know nothing about this. I can do this. I can break it down and do this. You can do all kinds of things to keep the spark in your relationship. But you better maintain that person's attention. Make them feel wanted. Because um, if you don't, the man at the gas station will. Um, so I always communicated with David. And us with our kids, everything, we always communicated. Um, when we are apart, it makes me happy to think about how much how much your touch can make me feel loved. Baby, that's what I'm talking about. See what I mean? Remember I said in the other video, I said, if I'm coming to a party, right? So if I'm going to a party and there's so many people in this party and my man is right there. 
My man is in this party. Y'all, it could be two to three hundred people in this room. Okay, I got tunnel vision. It's only David in the room. Or it's only my man in the room. I am solely focused on you. I am coming to you. I'm going to acknowledge you. You know what I'm saying? You are the important one. You are the man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to come to you, hug your neck, kiss you, boom, give you your attention. Let you know, hey, I'm here. You know, I have made it here. And please believe when I do come, I ain't coming half-stepping. Ladies, take care of yourself. Do your hair. Do your makeup. Get you an outfit. I mean, if you can't afford to get stuff, there are layaways out there. I mean, you can get stuff from thrift stores or whatever. It's so much that you can do, you know, for yourself. You don't have to let yourself go because you've had a baby or you married and this is just it. No, that ain't it. That ain't it. You know what I'm saying? You got to dance for your man. You got to do everything for your man. It ain't nothing that I won't do for mine to take care of my household. Nothing I won't do for mine. Let's bring another woman up in there. But other than that right there, ain't nothing I won't do for mine. Um, so, I communicated with David, not just by word of mouth, by touch, everything. Chris, this man, run and jump on this man and just squeeze him and let him know that I love him. And didn't care who knew. I believe we make a great loving team. There we go. Team again. Y'all see this? And he filled in the blank. Team. We was all about a team. An amazing team. An amazing team. We talked about stuff. How we were going to do it. Boom, boom, boom. Plan it out. Boom. Get it done. Bam. On to the next. On to the next. And um, you never know when you're going to find somebody like that. Or God is going to place that, that type of person in your life. But be thankful. Be thankful that you have somebody that's there. Um, that's rooting for you. That is two of y'all together. Shit, they might not always get it right. You might not always get it right, but you got a good person. If you got a good person, recognize the good qualities that a person has. Um, recognize all those qualities that a person has. If um, they don't have some of the things that you want, it, it's okay. It's okay. Everything ain't got to be perfect. And you can't compare them to your ex. Oh, my ex used to wear Jordans all the time. Them damn Jordans could have paid some shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, you ain't got to be all like that. You know, don't be flashy. I don't like flashy, flashy, flashy. And I like to look good. You know what I'm saying? That don't mean that I paid a lot of money for it. I like to look good. And um, it's all about the teamwork. Um, I love to watch you express your inner self. I'm always expressing myself with my hands. Yada, yada, yada. That's me. I'm down. Now, when I'm at work, I ain't like that. I just look at people. You know what I'm saying? I walk in and some stuff ain't going right. There's probably some of my employees on here looking at this thing right now. I don't know. But if I walk in there and something ain't right, first of all, I'm just going to look at them. And um, they're going to start talking. They're going to start doing all that talking. And then when they get done, then what happened? What happened? Keep on, keep on, keep on. Now, when I get quiet... That's when the problem begins. You know, you have to keep me engaged. But if I get quiet, I don't check that. I'm gone. I'm down the road. I'm on the expressway and I ain't coming back. Never, ever, 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 ever. You know, so it's just like um, I express myself. I tell you what's wrong. I tell you what's bothering me. Um, you know what I'm saying? If we can work it out, you know, how can we work this out? You know, um, I don't feel this. I don't see this. Whatever. How can, how can we work this out? How can we make this better? You ain't got no answer for me. Or we can't come up with no answer. Okay, I got an answer. My answer, I'm gone. Um. Anyway, uh, exactly, exactly, exactly. I actually saw it when um, I took Ayana to uh, get a book. I took Ayana to get a book. And then Ayana said, that's um, where daddy got one of those books from. And this was the book. And you are so exactly right. They have different ones that's actually in there. Write one. Fill in the blank for whomever. Your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband. Leave notes. Let them know you love them. You know what I'm saying? Let them wake up to something. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you can't cook or whatever, a note. You know, put it in their car. Whatever. Um, it's some things I done done before. But know how to get their attention and... Have their attention when you are not there. It's a way that you can do things and a person will know that you're thinking about them 
even when you're not there. If a person does not make you feel that way, you need to check that. You need to check that. Listen to your inner self. If you're not feeling that way, like, hey, wonder they think about me. Boom. You should never feel that way. You deserve the beautiful angel of the century award. Thanks, babe. Um, I love the sound of your laughter when you think something is funny. Yeah, when I think something is funny, I'm going all out. I ain't holding my laugh for nobody. If you were a holiday, you'd be Valentine's Day. That's because I got a whole lot of love, a lot of love to give, a lot of love to share. And um, I don't crowd a person. You know what I'm saying? I give you your space. Um, David and I were together every day. But um, we, we had a lot of love for each other. We went through a lot of stuff. A hell of a lot of stuff. You know, I held a lot of stuff, and um, I was in it for the long run. Hey, I love you. We in this together. Together. Locked tight. It's hard to put into words how strongly I feel about your ability to make me smile. Always making you smile, baby. I got something for you that you like. And it ain't always got to be sexual. It could be something different. Hell, whether I come home with a with a float. He know I wasn't coming home with that. I love how good you are at giving me chocolate cheesecake. I'm black candy, baby. Um, I wish I had known you when you were. Let's just keep that one and move to the next page. I love how you make me. I love how you make my food like a good woman. I've always cooked for David, taking care uh the household food prep and all that stuff and i would always ask david okay what do you want me to cook what do you want to have for this week or whatsoever and they'd be like you know you ain't got to cook nothing you can just give me a hot dog that's how he was he was just um he was really easy and another thing about david y'all when somebody makes it so easy for you to love whether it's a man or a woman um if they come to you and they come into your life and you'll know when that person is special. And, uh, yeah, he, yeah, he passed. Um, but when a person comes to you, you, you can tell, you can tell by a person's kindness and, um, their conversation, you know, look deep into it now. But when a person makes it so easy for you to love them, you got a good, you got a good. And David was so easy to love. So easy. Um, the only thing that, you know, you have likes and dislikes. The only thing that um, I had to do with David, the only thing that I had to do was David, like his outfits, you guys saw them sweatsuits and all that stuff that he would wear. He loved his stuff. He loved his stuff. And he loved his gray and black uh, Nikes that Ariel had got him. He loved th that stuff. And he would wear it every other day, wash it, wear it, wear it. That's all he wore. But when it came time to like going out of town and doing stuff right there, I had a different wardrobe. Boom. This stuff over here, you don't wear this stuff over here until we getting ready to go somewhere. You know what I'm saying? I had all this stuff straight, all his shoes and all that. Now, all this stuff over here that you want to just... Mess up, you can, because David might spill some coffee on and be like, it's just clothes, I don't give a crap, whatever. Mm -mm, I did, because when we go somewhere, we're going to be looking good together. Now, um, and that was that, you know. Um, I loved cooking for him. I loved being his wife. I loved stepping out, being on his arm. I loved that when I stepped out and I represented David, I represented you know what I'm saying? If I'm your woman, I'm going to represent you. I'm not going to step out looking like a mess. You know what I'm saying? Women, we have to take care of ourselves. Take care of yourselves. And um, like I said, again, don't let yourself down. Just like the man, though, too. You have to take care of yourself. And um, But I made his food, and then he was just like, you know, just give me a hot dog. You ain't got to do all that, but it's because I wanted to. I would fix his food. When I know that David was around the corner down the street because he was always in communication, I was getting his food right. I would make sure I got home before he did. Whether I had to go back to work in 30 minutes or not, I'm going to get home, make food, sure that his food was right. I fixed his food. He didn't care about me fixing his food. I did it because I wanted to. That's what I wanted to do. That's what I grew, uh, I grew up seeing. My aunts and my mom, them preparing food for their husbands and stuff like that. And that's just what I wanted to do 
for my man. Not only was it a part of my appreciation for him being a great man and the man that's in my life and the head of our household, it's just what I wanted to do, you know, from my heart. And that's what I did. I didn't have to, but I did. Um, and he says, I love going to the thrift store for you. Now, this is a lie. I don't know why he put this in here because David hated going to the thrift store with me. Hate it. I will go. He was like, just buy it new. Don't wait on no sale. You know, if um, you want it, just buy it. You know what I'm saying? Why are we going through somebody's junk that somebody else didn't want? They will go and find the books and stand up. He was tall up over all of the other bookshelves and stuff. You can see him. He just go over there and just stand. And then he just be looking and ready to go. Hate it going through the thrift store. So I don't know why you said this. Um, I love to kiss your lips. I bet you do. You know what I'm saying? I bet you do. Love to kiss your lips too. Um, you have the greatest taste in clothes. I have always loved dressing and looking sexy, but I have not always been the size where I can actually wear and rock uh, some of the sexy stuff and all that. Now, when David says I have the greatest taste in clothes, I do have good taste in clothes. That's what I think at least, but you guys know that David had gotten me a tailor. So, all of my clothes were tailored to my body by uh, Dave's tailor, which is Kelly. And she's been doing my stuff for over 10 years and stuff. Um, as I lost weight, she actually started doing all of my stuff. And when I would get an outfit, just like the outfit that I had on today, um, that dress, David had purchased that for me with some goddess sandals. Um, I put that on and he said it was too loose. Took it to Kelly. She took it up to my body, came home. He said it was too, it was too long and it needed to be taken up again. Went back to Kelly. She made it tighter, made it shorter and he loved it. So, um, I always included David on things that I wore. How does my hair look? How does my makeup look? Do you like this right here? Is this sexy enough? It's sexy enough for me. Hell, it ain't gonna be on long anyway, but do you like it? You know what I'm saying? Uh, cause I gotta know, you gotta know these things. And um, he always voiced his opinion. I like that. Or I'd come home and he don't order the outfit. He got something for me to wear. And I would gladly put it on. If you wanted to, you can easily make me. Yeah. I like that. You make me want to be a better man, husband, father, and lover. David was 10 times over and over and over and over and over. A great man, husband, father, and lover. He was an amazing man, an amazing husband, an amazing father to the children, and an awesome lover. I would love to create a playground for you. Now, that's a play on words about the playground. I'm loving this book. I've, you know, I've already read it. Uh, and that's a play on words. If you guys have heard R. Kelly's uh, song, um, um, what is, uh, seems like you're ready. Y'all seen that, that song seems like you're ready. And it says my body is a playground. Um, it's because, um, when you love your husband or you love the one that you with and you're giving yourself to them and, um, the intimacy and the connection that you guys have at that very moment. And you say that my body is your playground. And that is truly, truly how I always, so I always say, don't tell me it's your playground and I can't play on all of everything that's out here. You know, don't tell me that, you know. So um, that was just that we've been playing R. Kelly. My body is your playground. And, you know, you say that. And I mean, I can say that. I'm just sharing this with y'all about this book. You know what I'm saying? His body was my playground. My body was his playground. And um, take care of things. I love to play music with you. Music is a way to me. That is a way to me. Uh, David always had the mood right. If I was coming in, something was going on, and David knew that I was in a certain mood, whatever room I walked into, when I opened up the door, the music was playing as I came to the door, and it would actually soothe me. That's another way to my soul. Right, music and so and we would communicate through music as well and um i love that i love music i love music and so um he would play me music and or he would send me a song throughout the day and ask me to listen to it or I'd say you know pay attention to these lyrics and um this is i just love music i love slow music i love the words of a mu of, of music um 
that's just it, baby. Music will make me dance. Um, I believe the world needs your unique sense of self. Yeah, the world need me. You know what I'm saying? What, what would y'all do without candy? What would y'all do without candy, without me being here? I need me here too. You know what I'm saying? I need me here though too. I truly believe that if something would have happened to me that um, I don't think David could have taken it. You know what I'm saying? I don't, it would have been so hard for him. Um, I was in shock when everything happened. And um, it's just been, it just seemed like it wasn't real for me at first. And then I had to accept it. But in um, within accepting it, I had to actually go to him and ask him, you know, help me understand this. Help me understand this, what's going on. Because it would be times that, you know, I'm just thinking that, hey, you know, Unless I see this, this, and this. So I, this is one thing that I had told um, one of the doctors. And they kept saying, um, can I see a photo of him again? Can I see a photo of him again? And, and when I, they was asking me his name and I'm showing these photos and stuff. And they were saying they had the wrong person. Now, I said, I pray, y'all. And I was really, really wrong for that. But it was just how I was feeling. They thought that he had the wrong person. I was like, Lord, I pray that it's somebody else. I pray that this is not David. Oh, they got a mix up, whatever. And they came to me like three or four different times, like within the hour. And I said, wait, let me tell y'all this right here. Uh, yeah, he's a white man. I'm a black woman. You know what I'm saying? See these kids? You know, he's a white man. You know what I'm saying? Blue eyes, whatever. I just need to know that he's breathing. I told them I can handle anything anything with this man i just need to know that he's breathing i need to know he's breathing and not only for that we have like these engineers at one of the buildings and the engineers they were having a conversation i was not there and they called me to talk about it so i was one of the ones that they were talking about relationships a lot of people used to always talk about relationships and how david and i relationship was and russell one of the engineers says um i know um I was I was not there and then so anyway when I went down there Russell said hey I was telling this guy that it's only two people that I know if something happened to their man they would clean their ass you know what I'm saying one of them was um one of my friends and one of them was me so he was like you know you know something and David wasn't even gone then he was like you know if something happened to David this that and the other and all that what would you do well, I'll put his ass in a wheelchair and I'll do what I have to do for my man. Yeah, if I had to clean his ass or whatever, then I would do that. I don't know about some of you guys might think that, you know, you too good for it. Or, you know, you might need an assistant or whatever. Um, I'm involved with who I'm with. You know what I'm saying? Um, to take care of him through thick and thin, you know, in sickness and health. I am there. I know what it feels like to be in love and to be loved and to be in a relationship and you are in it wholeheartedly i know what that feels like um knowing beyond a shadow of a doubt that somebody loves you back i know what that feels like and um yeah i would do that uh for him but um i felt as if it's something that something would have happened to me um he wouldn't have been able to take it and uh it was hard for me i didn't think i was going to be able to go on but i have strength from within and i do a lot of praying i do i do a lot of cutting up but i do a lot of praying and then i know how to act when it's time to go to work and be around people though too and then i know my job here um i am so glad that you love my height y'all y'all know how he's to look way up because he was six four and a half and i'm five two I always had to look way up at David, but I loved it. You know what I'm saying? Um, when I really wanted to give David a really, really good hug, I would actually pull out the kitchen chair, stand up in the kitchen chair, and then I would be um, tall as David. You know, he'd turn around from the refrigerator, and then I'm just right there. You know what I'm saying? I would have to stand in the kitchen chair, but I love this height. I don't like a, I don't want to be, I can't look down to no man, but hey, if that's what happens and that's for me, then okay. Um. 
we should totally stay at Staybridge together. Um, yeah. Um, the first time I was ever actually um, with David, that's where I was. At Staybridge. She was. I love how you want to improve yourself all the time. I'm always want to improve my time, myself. Um, I'm always want to improve myself with any and everything that I do. How can I do something better? You know, and um, I just like doing that. Uh, if you were a color, you'd be passionate pink. Y'all see I got on pink? Um, I love pink. I love pink and purple are my favorite colors. I still can't believe you improved yourself so much. I wanted to make change to me. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to be this big unhealthy person. And I was going to have my kids and my husband to suffer. I wanted to make change for me and I wanted to make change for the better. I wanted to change my whole outlook on life. I wanted to change. I wanted to reinvent myself. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go from this to who I am now. I love me. I want to change me for a nobody. I don't want to be like nobody else because you never know the problems of what somebody else has. You know what I'm saying? You don't know the hell that they go through and what's going on in their household, the things that they're dealing with. I don't want to be nobody but Diana. That's all I want to be. That's all I want to be. And when um, somebody says, you know, who do you want to be like? But I want to be like me. You know what I'm saying? I want a love story like me. You know what I'm saying? I want to be loved like how David loved me. I want to love like I love David. But I do realize whoever I love is not David. You know, but I want to be open and love that person for who they are. Not comparing them to David because they're not David. You know, when I look at you, I'm looking at you. And nobody else because you're not David and I recognize that and I'm here with you for a reason you know what I'm saying if you're that person I'm here for you in me in us David has crossed over and went on and um, I've did a lot of praying uh, how are everybody gonna say soul searching no I know me uh, but I made peace with some things. I made some peace that I needed and some confirmation that I had to get. Um, but I'm waiting. I'm not rushing. I'm waiting. That's what I'm doing. I'm waiting. I love how you kiss my lips. That goes back into... Being affectionate in your relationship. Um, some people are not affectionate. Some people, that don't work. Some people don't hold hands. Some people don't open doors. All that stuff. At the beginning, David used to open my door for shit. After he got to know me, he'd pull up. You're like, girl, you better open that damn door. And I'd be laughing because a man don't have to open the door for me. I don't need all that. I want to get in the car. Um, it's incredibly funny when you tell a story cussing all the way. That's when I'm pissed off. If I'm cussing and I'm dropping the F-bombs and MF-bombs, I'm hot. I'm hot. And I will drop it through the whole entire story. And every time I used to be saying this, 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 they were like, Diana, Diana. He would always be saying that. Diana, Diana, Diana. So, but um, I get my point across. I would get my point across here. I am just really glad that I uh, found this book because it made me smile. I love how you, how you have such strong arms. Baby, you know it. Grab you, wrap these arms around you. Wrap these arms around you. You know what I'm saying? Lifting weights. Grab these. I love hugs. I love intimacy. I love dude. that fire. I bet you do love it. I, I got to go off that page right there. I love remembering the time we first made love. I remember that. I do remember that. I love to massage your feet. And I love that though too. I did love that. I miss that. Everyone should be as beautiful as you. 
lovely lovely uh he knew how to make say things to me to make me feel good i know that he meant it and he was just not saying it he um he showed it i loved it um and he says i love it when you dance like you like it music makes me dance i will turn into a different person that music comes on you can't tell me i ain't at the club can't tell me i ain't the stripper you can't tell me but i did that for my man and for me i never get tired of your booty i bet you don't i bet you didn't get tired of my booty um i love okay so that thing had disconnected or whatever but we're gonna try to get it, it says i i love how you never get tired of my kisses and i was saying to you guys that um I never got tired of David showing his love for me. He showed it all the time. He showed it. I love to show off for you. Now, when he did this stuff right here, this was stuff that was funny for me. Because David was very fluent in seven different languages. And he knew just a little bit of Portuguese, though, too. He he knew how to get by on that. But David was very fluent in seven different languages. So if we were walking into a place, say, like we're going to the nail salon or something like that, people would actually straighten up because we'd walk in there and then David would actually start speaking their language. They would shut the hell up. They'll turn around and they'll look at him or whatever. And it would be so funny. Or either, like, going to the German restaurant. I don't like German food. David loves German food, him and Ayana, and um, was stationed in Germany. Um, so he would actually speak German sometimes. And even though in some of the things that you don't like because you want to be with a person, you try those things. And because you love a person, sometimes you'll just go there and sit. So it was times, many times that we went to the German um, restaurant in Stone Mountain. I never ate any of their food. I would just have a tea. And just because I was there with David and in his presence, I would sit there and just drink my tea. Just because I was there spending time with him. I ate none of their food. I did not like it. I just, I didn't. I just, it was nothing that I cared for. So, but just as long as I was there with him, I just went. And he would speak German. I just love when he would just walk up and start speaking different languages, doing different things, you know. Um, he was very impressive. It's a great guy. Great man. I love the feel of your hands on me. I'd like to take you to the wedding chapel again. I was going to marry David again. Many of you guys know I married David twice. I was never divorced. I just love marrying the man. I married him twice, and I was supposed to marry David again, and you guys know that YouTube, you guys were coming. I wanted to marry David again, and um, but didn't get to do it. We had I had everything about what the girls was going to wear, what DJ was going to wear, and all that stuff, but we never uh, got a chance uh, to do that. I love it when you wear nothing but a smile, and I love it when I wear nothing but a smile, too, because you smile also. Um, if you were a dessert, you'd be chocolate cheesecake, delicious and tasty. I always want to hear what you're going to, um, what you're going to say about lovers. Y'all know how I can go deep. I can go deep about the relationship, deep about the lovers and what you can do. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I just love that. Um, no, I can't say that right there, David. Yeah. Mm. I love how you believe in yourself. I believe in me. I believe in us. That's how it is. I believe in us. You know what I'm saying? If we together, I believe in us. I am kind of upset, obsessed with your... I'll leave that off there something else i love how you watch out for me i am protective of my family i am very protective of my family and my husband and all that and i always look out for them 
You know, I love them. I look out for everybody that's within my family. So, um, oh, y'all can hear pressure snoring. Yes, that's pressure. Pre that's what I deal with. Pre she snores louder than that. Yes, pressure is over there snoring. Nobody else can make love like you. It's a difference in banging, sex, and making love. Know the difference. Feel the difference. You know what I'm saying? And want the difference. Um, this here. It was always something for me because we always talked about it. I am so in love with you that I don't want to be with anyone else ever. Ever. That's how we were. Don't want to be with anybody else. I love you always. Your David. That's how David signed all his cards to me. Your David. Um... It was good to find this book, but I find so many things and, um, again, to love and to be loved is so amazing, you know, um, but it's okay to allow yourself to be loved and to want to be loved. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? And to make memories with people, you know what I'm saying? But, um, just know when you do something with somebody, at the moment in time that whatever happens, no matter whatever it is, you are making a memory. If you don't want somebody to remember you in anything or whatever, um, don't put yourself in that type of situation, no matter what it might be. Uh, some people might take things the wrong way. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. That book Um it's just amazing. It's different things that I still ask. Um, I ask him and I always get like a confirmation and stuff. Um, now, let me tell y'all something. I do know what happened and what's going on in my life or whatever. But um, I have actually moved myself out of that place that I was. That I was in and allowing myself to actually move on and I'm okay I'm in a good place I'm in a good place um, to move on and to get things done and to continue on and to know that I had a real life love so there's a lot of people that was around us that saw us and all this stuff together and um, I love sharing that and YouTube was a part of me and some things that you do you have to include the person that you're with on some of the things that you do and this was like uh well not was like this was my job when i got the contract youtube was my job and um it got to the point where i was recording so much we had so many days that we were going around you know i was uploading like on wednesdays and sundays or something like that and you have to do all of this editing and stuff so i actually had to include david on there and so that's when david started actually coming in you know it's like hey babe you know, I want to include you on these things. You know, it's like, okay, you're always recording. You're always doing this right here. But I always made time for my man. You know what I'm saying? Even if I have to, like, stop right here and then go and be with him for, like, an hour or two hours. When that time is over, then I'm coming right back here and doing what I need to do, as in for work. And then when I'm not doing that, then I was personal training. When I was not personal training, then I was uh, doing some working somewhere else. You know, I was always going and working and doing something. and But I always made time for my man. So then I had to include David in. And so... That's when I began to share David with the world and we brought out the D&D &D vlogs and all that stuff and David came on. That was another way of spending time uh, together because you have to include the one that you love. You have to include them on some of the things that you do. You know what I'm saying? You cannot put them out, shut them out. You cannot do that. You got to find some type of way to bring them in and let them know um, that they are important to you. Yeah, you have to include them in or you'll lose them, you know, and um, people don't always do stuff right. They think they do, you know what I'm saying? But, um, and that's when David was on YouTube with me uh, for a long time. And I loved having him on YouTube uh, with me. It was really, really good when he 
finally came out and started doing stuff. It was amazing. And um, Ayana has been on YouTube before David. Ayana's been on YouTube since she was uh, turning two. Yeah, turning two. Because Ayana's on there in diapers. And then growing on up and stuff before she got her own channel. So uh, that's why Ayana has her own YouTube. She grew up just doing it. The other kids would be on it sporadically. But um, it's okay to love. Even when you've lost somebody. It's okay to love. Um, the transferring of love and stuff like that. I don't do that. Because a person can't be that person that I was in love with. Um, I don't do the transferring of love. And um, it's never going to be the same. Uh, my life will never be the same without David. And um, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. I, I am happy knowing that that part of my life was truly amazing and I learned from it um and I learned to appreciate love you know I'm glad that I had a great time with him but um I learned to appreciate one's time that I have with them and stuff so that's it I'm gonna get off of here so now you guys have it about the book some of the things that he was saying and some of the things that I said some of the things that we believe in and we believe in family. I believe in family. You know. Um, yeah, it's truly, truly amazing to be loved. And I know that I'm loved from the other side. I truly believe that. I truly believe that David is around me. And I'm still loved. Um, but I'm going to get off of here. Because it is late. Wow, y'all, I have been up, y'all, dang, why well, I was thinking that it was like about one o'clock. Oh, hell, I got to get off of here and start taking off this makeup because I'm up. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I got to go and I got to get this makeup off of me and stuff. Y'all don't sleep in makeup. I don't do next day makeup. I don't, I don't do that at all. Next day makeup, I don't do that. I do fresh face. So anyway, I'm going to get out here. Make sure you guys thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share this video. And I still have some other stuff to edit that I have not. Y'all, some of that stuff is going to be old. I'll have it on there that says that it is pre-recorded whatsoever. I got to show you guys my tummy tuck um, cover up from the scar and all that stuff. I'm bringing all that stuff right there uh, to you guys. And I got another vlog. Um, and I got to vlog some stuff on some teenagers and kids and all this stuff. So I will be back at you guys, you know. It's okay to tell somebody that you love somebody and it's okay for you to allow yourself to be loved. And it's okay to tell your friends to shut the hell up. You know what I'm saying? Because the reason why you ain't got nobody is because they ain't allowing themselves to be loved. So, I'm out for here. Now, it don't look like I ain't wiping off nothing. That's because my skin is good. I'll talk to y'all later. I love y'all. Make sure y'all comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you guys will know when I'm on live. What you said? Yes, I got my tummy tuck covered up. Was it a month ago? I think it was a month ago. But anyway, I got the footage. You guys will be seeing that. And I just got to edit it. So that stuff will be going up uh, probably tomorrow or something. I'm just trying to get my role back on YouTube. I had slowed down for a while. I allowed myself to slow down uh, for a minute. And... When you recognize something, when you recognize something, um, you acknowledge it and you make changes. So um, I'm making changes. I'm back on YouTube. So my time, you know what I'm saying? Because I have a lot of time. Um, I'm going to be back with you guys. This is my job. I... I apologize for being away for so long. I don't apologize for me taking the time for uh, when I needed to be with my family and stuff so that um, I can grieve, you know, which I still am. Uh, but I'm in a good place though now. And um, I don't want to waste my own time. That's where I am right now. I don't want to waste my own time. And um, yeah, you guys can read in between the line, read all everywhere. I don't care. But I'm not going to waste my own time. You know what I'm saying? So 
all that time right here because I could be right here with y'all and I could be very much appreciated. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later. I love y'all. Bye.